going to show you how to replace the two seals on the cylinder on the FX cutlass. The first thing you need to make sure the cylinder is empty, there's no air inside. Check the pressure gauge. Make sure it's totally empty before you attempt this. You're going to need a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, a two millimeter Allen key, and a spanner, adjustable spanner or a 14 millimeter spanner for the nut that's inside. And you're gonna need some seals. You can buy these off eBay, a full kit. We're gonna remove the barrel band First of all, you need a 2.5 millimeter. this small grub screw which is a two millimeter just remove the end cap right as I said before make sure the cylinder is empty There's also another seal inside where the valve is. I'll show you on another video how to replace that one. But the ones I'm replacing here, there's one for the fill probe and another seal for the end cap. There was a little bit of air left in. Right, you've got a seal right here around this ring, and there's one inside. If you do poke something inside the fill probe hole, make sure it's plastic coated so you don't scratch or damage anything. There's a little spring inside, make sure it doesn't pop out and go flying. That's the seal we're going to be changing. I'll just get it out to pack it. To get the seal out, I'm using a dental pick, slide it in underneath, twist it round. It should just come off. There you go. So make sure it's clean, no debris or nothing around it. Slide the new seal on. OK, 
careful not to damage it. There you go. The second seal is the one around the cap. It's clean. Put the new seal on. There you go. Make sure there's no grease or anything on these seals as they go into the chamber. And you don't want any grease entering the chamber. Put the spring back in. Not too tight, just tight enough. That's it, job done. You shouldn't have any leaks now from the fill port. job done next video I'll show you how to change the seal in the regulator side